What's up, everybody? It's another awesome and beautiful day to be in the Villages, Florida. We're going over the Bexley Bridge, over the Florida Turnpike, and welcome to the brand new southern section of the Villages. And as you can see, as far as the eye can see, they're building, right? <laughs> That's right. Hey everybody, my name's Michael. And I'm Tiffany. And welcome back to our channel. If this is the first time you stopped by, thanks for doing so. Make sure you uh, smash the thumbs up and the subscribe button. I gotta pay attention as we navigate one of our golf cart roundabouts here. So, if we were to hang a left right there and go through that tunnel, that would take us over to the villages of Shady Brook, Moultrie Creek, and then um, Water's, Middle Edge. Water's Edge and Middleton as yeah. well. Yeah. We're not going over there today. Today, we're headed over to the brand new section of Well Point. That's where the villages has been uh, building brand new courtyard villa homes. They've been building some uh, new designer homes. They've been building brand new lifestyle visit homes. And we just found it out about it this week that they have brand new premier homes in the village of Well Point, right? Yep, had no clue. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna kind of call this our, our uh, Sundays in the South series. So we'll get out and drive around the villages down here, the new sections of the villages down here in the South. It's much easier to get out and drive around on a golf cart on a Sundays because typically you don't have any construction going on and uh, we're both off work on Sundays as well. Right, right. <laughs> so we did get up this morning, uh, cooked us an awesome, awesome breakfast, and then we watched church online. So if you're looking for a great uh, home church, if you don't have one yet, go check out Elevation Church. That was our home church back in Charlotte, North Carolina. So it's always good to kind of reconnect with our community from there and our online community. Off to our left, this uh, area that we just passed, I think that's the village of Edenfield, right? Yes. So nothing is for sale in Edenfield right now. But Well Point, a few weeks ago, they started selling those uh, veranda homes and the courtyard villa homes. And uh, yeah, so let's just drive through. We'll stop up here ahead is the, what is it called again? San Tropez. San Tropez is the newest, is it a regional or just a village? Uh, I think it's a regional. I mean, it's bigger than a, a neighborhood. Bigger than a neighborhood rec center. Because <laughs> last time we drove through here, um, it was right after the hurricane. That's true. And yep. there was a lot of debris and like, even fences on the ground and things like that. So we will see what it's like now. It looks like it's all cleaned up. Yep. So straight ahead, we got brand new pickleball courts. I don't think those are open yet. Yeah, I don't think any of these amenities are open. Yeah, they'll probably wait and do this all at one time when they actually open up. So yeah, the last time Tiffany and I, we sat right here and parked, uh, which was literally the day after uh, Hurricane Milton came through. Yeah, all mm -hmm. these fences were blown down and blown over. So it looks like they're making a lot of progress getting that ready to go. And then we do have the starter shack over here, right? And restrooms for this brand new golf course that runs parallel to the Florida Turnpike. So again, a good use of space putting this golf course over there instead of uh, putting homes right next to the Florida Turnpike. And is this a, um, like a pitch and putt or is this a regular um, executive I golf I think this course? is an executive golf course. Okay. So it's not a pitch and putt and it's not a championship golf course. I can't remember the name of this. I'll have to look up on the map. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below, but yeah, straight ahead there is the Florida Turnpike you can see over there. <laughs> you can see we did lose those uh, giant oak trees over there, unfortunately. They have not cleaned that out yet, but the rest of the area is looking pretty good. So we're leaving the parking lot of San Tropez, straight across the way there was the future village of Edenfield. We're back on McNeil Drive, back in our own multimodal cart lane right now, but you see that sign right there, it lets us know we do have to merge with the regular traffic and luckily no one's coming up back behind us back here and then we get down here to this uh, four-way stop make sure you stop look both ways keep your head on a swivel you never know if anybody's going to blow through the stop sign there so and everybody's out for a sunday drive including all the bicycles so <laughs> it's a really busy day today exactly <laughs> all right we are turning right onto corbin trail and this road, Corbin Trail, goes back into some of the previous areas of the villages like Monarch Grove. So it's really convenient. It's a great, that's why we liked this area yep. that, that we looked over here. Because if we take this road all the way, we'll come out to another multimodal, which will allow us to get to, uh, what's the, the shopping center Magnolia? called? Magnolia. Magnolia Shopping Plaza. <laughs> 
All right, so we are turning into Sophie's Point now. This is this neighborhood is all verandas and courtyard villas. And the verandas back up to the golf course, the pitch and putt, some of them even back up to nature. And so these are all under they're pending or sold. In fact, yep. somebody's already moved in and put up their Halloween decorations. <laughs> and this was a neighborhood that we were really considering. We mm -hmm. looked at this neighborhood a lot and uh, there's a lot of things to love about this including what you just mentioned earlier being so convenient not only to magnolia shopping center but the future eastport and so there was a couple of homes in here we had our eye on we thought about these courtyard villas off to our left we thought about some of these veranda homes but just did not work out for us and matter of fact there was one that we almost put our name in the lottery for on friday right yes so if you live in the villages like we do year round or just when you're visiting everybody drives around and looks at houses all the time <laughs> whether you're really looking to move or not yep. it's just the thing to do um and so you'll see one under construction and you'll have your eye on it yep. and um so we had there was one under construction when we were looking at the courtyard villas there was a veranda under construction that we told our sales agent to keep an eye on uh for us when it came available so it did come available, and we're going to drive over there and show it to you right now. Yep. Um, but before we do that, just okay. to mention here real quickly, if you go back to a couple of previous videos, we were here before these houses went on the market, and oh, then we were true. here. Yeah, they're all sold. Every single one of these homes that you see right here, they're all sold. So congratulations to all you folks who uh, bought your dream home here in the Villages. Uh, if you're watching this video, leave us a comment below. That's right. These um, on my side of the golf cart back up to kind of a nature preserve um, or a nature area area with big oak trees so it was really pretty so we liked this side of the road um, Michael's side of the road backs up to the golf course but you can also see the turnpike a little bit so we'll take a right up here can you read the name of that street sign I don't there? know how to pronounce it Tapir Terrace Tapier let us know in the comments below <laughs> what do you think so this is a charlotte right here in front of us that is a, a courtyard villa right yes and that was one home that we almost considered because it had this big uh, private side yard that we really really like but we we decided against it i think that we're going to end up our next home we think is going to be a designer designer or a veranda home right right who knows could be who something knows? different yeah who knows we're looking for the right lot, right house on the right lot. An interesting thing about these um, courtyard villas here were some of them were built with pools. Yeah. I think there were three. Yeah, well, this in one right this here to our left. Yep. Yep. Um, were built with the pools at a decent price. So if you really wanted a pool. Yeah, so I'll point out one before we show you the other home. This home to our left right here, right where that stop sign is, that is a courtyard villa. And as you were mentioning, already has the swimming pool, already has the bird cage, has a lot of privacy. And we really, really thought long and hard about that home right there. Backed up to a wall. Yep. But it also backs up to Corbin Trail, which is a very busy road. So we were a little concerned about road noise. It's not so bad right now, but when they do get the future Eastport built, there's going to be a lot of folks from the that side of the villages coming over to Eastport and back and forth, back and forth. So congratulations to whoever bought that home. You got a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful home. Beautiful home. Yep. So while we were looking at that one, there yep. was one under construction that we were keeping our eye on. Um, and it's this one right down here at the end. Michael's kind of pointed at it. It's that beautiful, I like the green. I'm not sure what to call it. Seafoam green, maybe. It is an Ottawa a model. Yep. Um, it's a veranda home. And one of the reasons a lot of you, we meet you and they're like, we love your reasons of why you choose a home or why you don't choose a home. So the number one reason we would choose this home would be it, the walls. Yep. Um, Corbin Trail is on the other side of that wall, but it has a nice tall wall. Um, and there's a few other things. I don't know, maybe you can talk about them. They're kind of hard to see, so you'll have to kind of show them. Well, the other th reason why we like this lot, number one, it's not the end of the road, so there's a lot of privacy. Mm -hmm. it does have the wall, like you said, but look at that ginormous oak tree back there. Right. So when you're on your back lanai, you do have walls uh, on all sides of your property there, except for the front, of course. And so when you're sitting out there in your lanai, you've got that view, of the, that awesome, awesome oak tree right there. So this is the one that our, our sales agent let us know about. We thought about it, we prayed about it, but we decided not to put our put our name in the lottery, right? Yeah, because the other side of the wall here, there's not a house. Correct. So being on the end, the houses on the other side of the fence are actually in Monarch Grove. 
different village. Um, but directly behind this house, there is not a house. The houses don't start till next door. So like Michael said, there's no one on the other side of the wall. Yep. You have a view of a beautiful oak tree um, and you're at the end here. So you only have one neighbor who would probably be awesome, um, but one awesome neighbor is enough. Yeah, there um, you go. <laughs> <laughs> and so it just didn't work out with our timing. Yep. It just didn't, but this is definitely, and we love the floor plan. Love, we love the Ottawa. Yeah, we love this floor. Does it this one have uh, three baths, three full baths, right? Yes. Three full baths. It has the uh, separate laundry room. Uh, yeah, if we get a veranda home, this right here will probably be the floor plan that we will end up with. Or is that definitely at the top of our list, right? One of the one of the two. All right, so we'll make our way out of Sophie's Point, and then in the middle here is all of the uh, courtyard villas. I think there's two left on this row. Maybe there's three left, and there's one back there in the back. So I think there's only four homes mm -hmm. still for sale in this neighborhood as of the recording of this video. And whenever a courtyard villa neighborhood goes uh, on the market, typically the corner lots sell first. Mm -hmm. uh, that one back there happened to be a corner lot, plus it had a pool, so it definitely was one of the first ones to sell. And then certain floor plans, uh, what is it called? The Winslow C, the right? The Winslow C. That's the most popular floor plan. Well, maybe it's not the most popular, it's the most desired because they only build one or two per neighborhood. Back behind us, they do have a bunch of Charlottes and Durhams, but they only typically build one, two, maybe three Winslow C's in each of the Courtyard Villa neighborhoods. And it has a golf cart garage. So. Oh, check out that awesome, awesome golf cart. Oh. So here you go, right on cue, like Tiffany was saying, it's a beautiful Sunday <laughs> afternoon and this is what we do in the villages. This is a golf cart community and everybody is out and about. We're gonna go straight across after this last golf cart here. And now welcome to uh, the other side of Well Point. Uh, we've been over here looking at uh, empty lots. We've been looking at some of the brand new lifestyle homes. And then right down the road is a brand new premier home neighborhood, which we'll show you here in just a couple of minutes. So a couple of weeks ago, we came out here when all these lots went for sale. We thought about it. Of course, the lots that we wanted went really, really fast. Uh, this corner lot over here on the very, very end has again that view of that beautiful oak tree, but there's no wall right there. So you'll definitely see all the traffic, whether it be golf carts or regular cars coming by. All the interior lots are still for sale. Not all of them. These two, on the, them. yeah, these two on the end, oh, those sold. The yeah, corn, yeah, yeah, the two ginormous ones, those sold. Uh, there's a few that have sold on the interior, but there's a lot okay. of the interior lots, and there's still some of these exterior lots. So if you're looking to build a designer home, this will be a designer home neighborhood. Uh, there are some lots still available, and some of them have a, a zero dollar lot premium. Some have a, you know, ten, fifteen plus thousand dollar premium. But there's a lot of these interior lots. There's no extra for the premium if you want to kind of design your own designer home. Mm -hmm. So we'll stop right here and take a right on Rusa Run, but that directly ac across from us with all those walls, more than likely that's going to be a future Courtyard Villa neighborhood. Or verandas, or both. Or both, yeah. <laughs> Let us know if you uh, have more information. Let us know in the comments below. So we're passing a brand new, uh, that was a patio villa neighborhood over there to our right. Correct, but it's going to be lifestyle visit homes. That's what we think, anyway. Or you know that That's for a fact? That's what the new map says. Ah, okay. Remember, um, so if you stop at the sales center, yes. they have a new map of Well Point, and it shows you, and those were colored um, lifestyle visit homes. Gotcha. So both patio villa neighborhoods will be lifestyle visit homes, plus the cottages awesome, here awesome. in the middle. But those back there are not open and available for anybody to stay in yet. I don't think Correct. the cottages are either right no. now, right? But we will show you the brand new lifestyle uh, visit homes that are straight ahead. But first, let's take a right right here. They got the brand new Well Point signs oh, up. Oh, they do. Yeah, those weren't up the last time we were wow, here. that's new. And you'll know that these are lifestyle visit homes because they all have the exact same uh, patio furniture out front. Right. <laughs> you don't get patio furniture when you buy a house. You got to buy your own patio furniture. But if you do have a lifestyle visit, uh, they include uh, the patio furniture on the front and the back lanai. If you have a back lanai, you all, yep, matter of fact, there you go. There's patio furniture, that back lanai right there. And then you get a golf cart and you get two bicycles so you can go out and explore the villages and take advantage of all of it. Yep. <laughs> so if you're watching this video in the future and you're staying here for a lifestyle visit, let us know in the comments.
and let us know which home you stayed in because uh, they will eventually put really cute little names on all these homes. So they don't have the little signs out with their names. But when we go next door here in just a second and show you the Patio Villa Lifestyle Visit neighborhood, we'll point out some of those little fun names. I love that cottage home directly in front of us. I love yes. the character of it. Yep. Again, I like the black casing on the windows. A lot of you were Team Tiffany. That's right, they were, yeah. I won <laughs> um, for having the wrought iron decoration on the garage. I, I did win that one. So, um, but somebody pointed out that they're also magnetic ones, so we don't have to have it permanent. Yeah, several, um, several people pointed that out, and actually a couple people joked about it, said, uh, we could get them and when I leave, you can go put them on the garage and then <laughs> take them off when I get back home or something like that. So that was a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, so straight ahead is a designer neighborhood, future designer neighborhood. And those lots went on the market uh, a few weeks ago and they all sold immediately because you do have a uh, water view. So if, if it's a water view or a nature view, those lots pretty much go within the first 24 hours, if not within the first hour or so. Right. So this is the main reason why we like to get out on a Sunday. There's no construction trucks out here. There's no, none of that noise going on. We don't have to worry about uh, keeping our head on a swivel so much, you know, on a Sunday out here. Right, because when everybody's out here working, there is hardly any space even for a golf cart to squeeze through. There are a few people working down that road over there. So you do, mm -hmm. you see the occasional crew out here doing it. Uh, but Monday through Friday, yeah, it is uh, full blown construction going on. All right, where's the other lifestyle visit neighborhood at? I get confused. Yeah, these are brand, these homes weren't here on our last video. No, we, oh, that's why I'm confused. Yeah, exactly. There was no homes. This was just all <laughs> empty area. And we came here last time. We were trying to figure this out, what's directly in front of us. And it looks like to me, are these, no, this might be Premier Homes. That might be a Premier Home right there in front of us. Huh, Len Keen Luke. Because I've never seen that floor plan on a designer home. But we do know where there is one brand new Premier home for sale right now, which we'll show you as soon as we get our bearings and figure out where we're at. And on the other side of the fence, that's Monarch Grove, right? Yes. So that used to be the new, new section of the villages and where the villages <laughs> ended down here in the south. But of course, over the last uh, year and a half, they've been building uh, on this side of the turnpike over here. And these lots, these perimeter lots, I think there's a couple left. They've been released. Yep. Um, I'm not sure, but they sold pretty quickly as well. Directly in front of us, those are uh, patio villa homes. That's what we currently live in. We live in a patio villa neighborhood. That's what we stayed in for our lifestyle visit a little over a year ago at Harper Villas. So that is the new lifestyle neighborhood. That's right. So we'll make our way and turn in there and point some of those out. So these homes were built fast. I don't think they were here last, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, that's what we're gonna try to get out of here and look every Sunday because it is amazing for us that live here year round to see just how quickly they build not only a home, but an entire brand new neighborhood, an entire brand new village. All right, so we're turning into Kristen Villas on Kristen Avenue, and we know for sure that these are new <laughs> lifestyle visit patio villas. A, they have all the little signs on them. Yep. Two, I'm going to give a shout out to Don. He messaged us and said that they are coming for their design visit. Oh, nice. So they have bought the lot, and then, you know, within 30 to 45 days, you have to come do your design visit and, and finalize everything. And so they are coming down for their design visit, and he said they have already been assigned a villa over on Kristen Avenue. Yeah, it does not look like anybody's staying here right now. And we're recording this. Oh, there I take that look. back. There is a car over there. So, yeah. And they were in Pinch Myself. That was the name of that home right there. <laughs> so uh, as of today, today is Sunday, October 27th, 2024, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So it looks like maybe this was the first week of having folks stay. But we have heard from a couple of you that are coming in November. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to turn back on Kristen Avenue, see if there's any sign of life down here. The house to our left we just passed was called Happy Trails. We got sunny days, 
we've got sunflower off to our left and I saw one I think it's very appropriate up here, here in just a second if I can find it again here we go this one right here there you go for all you snowbirds that live up in the northeast <laughs> up there in New York New Jersey Canada Michigan Ohio wherever you're from <laughs> come on down to Florida in the winters it's pretty awesome awesome down here in the winters right yes So yeah, if you're watching this video and you're standing in any of these homes, whether it be right now or a year from now, let us know in the comments below. Uh, these right here to our right, that one was called Love. That one directly ahead is Faith. And the one that's on the left-hand side of Faith is Hope. I really want to put them in order though, Faith, Hope, and Love. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Slice of Heaven off to our right, and then this last one on to our right right here was called Happiness. Happiness. So a beautiful day, a beautiful weekend to come down for a lifestyle visit. So we're now leaving Kristen Villas. We're going to take a right on Steiger Street and see if we can go find these brand new premier homes. It's getting harder and harder for us to navigate because they keep building more houses every time we come over here, right? <laughs> Just when we get our bearings. <laughs> when they build houses, it doesn't look the same. All right, so we'll take a right on Hannon Loop. Mm -hmm. And then... I think they're off to our left over here. So we're going to take a left right here on McPhail Place, and they are doing a little bit of construction out here on a Sunday. Yep. Because I do think this is part of the brand new Premier Homes, I think. I'm not sure if these off to our left and right are, or if these are designer homes, but I do know when we get to the end of this road, and get through this construction gauntlet here, <laughs> you will be able to see. So directly in front of us are some brand new Premier Homes. And we'll stop right here and angle the cart right there at number 6147. That is the only Premier Home that's still available for sale as of today. I bet this is gone by Monday morning. Right, brand new. Brand new. New, new build. So um, where are all the details on this? So this is an Osprey C model. Um, and like we told you when we came in, it is the village of Well Point. So if you're wondering which, which village it is, it is still in Well Point. Three beds, two and a half baths, 2,100 square feet. That's under AC. That's under AC. Wow. Um, well, I don't know you know a lot of times they put the total well just go to the village's website you can right. see the link below and you can <laughs> click on it they'll give you the uh, the floor plan they'll tell you not only the dimensions on the inside they'll show you how much square feet that you have in your garage your golf cart garage and also for the lanai as well um you're right that is climate controlled yeah there you 20 go 20 climate controlled so not only going to have a lot of square footage climate controlled it's also going to have the taller ceilings that's something that makes the premier homes a little bit different than the designer homes they have a, a, a lot taller ceilings Ten inside. Foot. there you it's go 10 foot high and you can see these back up to a wall as well and something that caught our eye on this premier home model was that it has a powder room oh yeah we have not found one of a new a model that we've been looking at yep. that has a powder room. So really nice for your guests, um, things like that, so they don't have to use one of the bedroom bathrooms. Yes, yeah, so it's three bedrooms, two and a half baths. Two and a half. So you'll have the foyer right there in the entryway, and then you'll have a powder room for your guests to use. But then bedrooms number two and three, they have a Jack and Jill bath, right? Right. So that's pretty cool. And of course, you'll have the uh, the owner's suite on the back side of the property. Um, we, we love it. We love the color of it. We love the floor plan of it. We love having that wall back there. But the big no-no for us, and it may not be an issue for right. you, is uh, this home right now is currently facing east. So it, the sun is rising and going on the other side. So their back lanai is facing due west, which means you're going to get all that uh, hot afternoon sun pouring onto your back lanai pouring onto your living space and that's just something that we kind of ruled out we are not interested in any homes that have a west facing lanai right y'all know i like to keep the air conditioner <laughs> low anyway if we have full sun coming in in the afternoon he's in trouble but i would say this this home has strike number two for us what's that is that um the power lines are right oh. behind it so you probably see it in the shot 
And I didn't even notice that until you just said, I yeah. literally did not <laughs> notice the power lines. Now you said it, I see the power lines. But before you said it, I wasn't even paying attention so to So number it. one, we said no because it was a western facing lanai. Yep. So we checked that before we even, um, you know, considered it. And so, but... But but for some of Great you, the, model. yeah. But for some of you, the western facing lanai, you have reached out and said you're just snowbirds. You're only mm -hmm. here, you know, December through April, the cooler months of the year for Florida. Right. So if you're only here as a snowbird, then a western facing lanai is not going to be an issue. We live here 365 days a year. Right. Well, except for we're traveling. So uh, yeah, the summers do get really really hot out here. <laughs> All right, so we're going to drive down. There was another one that was for sale that is now pending. It yep. sold very quickly, and we're going to show you why. Same floor plan. Yep. Uh, Osprey C, same floor plan. Um, a little bit more expensive. That one's five twenty nine. Okay. That one's five twenty nine, um, and but this one sold immediately as soon as it went into on the, the computer. So if you look <laughs> on the uh, the Village's website, their map right now, this one it's six one one nine. There you go. Love the colors on that one as well, too. It is pending as of right now. You see a car there. I don't think anybody's bought it and moved in. It's probably one of the village's sales agents out here showing folks around. Uh, but here's why this one sold out immediately. You have this awesome, awesome water view back behind you. Yep. And the lanai is not facing due west as well. So too bad we didn't know about this one. This one was already sold and off the market before we knew about it. But that's pretty cool that you can get now a premier home mm -hmm. for just a little over 500000 we have some friends that live over there in the uh, premier neighborhood of, I forget what it's the called. Enclave. The Enclave. I always forget about the Enclave. And uh, most of those homes over there are 700000 to well over a million plus. So to be able to get a premier home under 550000 is pretty awesome. Um, and the first one we looked at that's still for sale is 523. Okay. 523. Um, so now, the difference between this, though, and the Enclave is that it's not a separate neighborhood, like completely separated off to itself. Yep. So you are in um, with the designer neighborhood homes and, and things like that. So it's not a whole separate entrance and something like that. So a little bit different model for them. Yeah, a lot of you reached out in the comments and, and want us to do a follow-up to uh, the Enclave, which we will do. It's been you know a month or so at least since we've been over there last. We need to drive over there and see. Uh, they pretty much have got that entire neighborhood almost completely built out with the exception of a few interior lots. And we know a few of you that live there have uh, reached out and said you would love for us to come uh, show the interior of your home too. So that is on the horizon for us. So we're taking a left now back onto McNeil Drive, right? Mm -hmm. We get over here in our multimodal cart lane, and then late last week, was it uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Thurs Thursday. On Thursday, they did the uh, grand opening, the dedication ceremony <laughs> for the brand new Adult Recreation Center of Well Point. Right, so the neighborhood um, rec center, and it is an adult pool. So adults only, 30 plus. You'll see off to our right, there is a, uh, Looks like restrooms, you'll have a future golf course over there, and then up there in the distance to our right is the brand new rec center. So we'll pull through here and see what's going on today. I see a lot of electrical <laughs> cords. I see a lot of uh, lot markers. There's people swimming today. So welcome to the Well Point Recreation and Postal Facility. So anybody that lives in the village of Well Point, this is where you'll come uh, get your mail. And right there is the swimming pool. Doesn't look like anybody's in it. I'll aim the golf cart that way just so you can see. Matter of fact, We'll get out of the golf cart. Let's go park the golf cart. We'll walk around and show you a little bit more about uh, this recreation center. I'm looking for a patch of shade. I don't see one. I don't see any either. <laughs> we'll go over here and park by the Well Point sign. 
So I got out of the golf cart and went and scoped out the brand new pool and there are three or four folks over there sunbathing and enjoying. So we never ever, uh, we try our best not to show anybody when they're out actually at a pool. If the pool's empty, I would have gave you a grand tour of that. But I did take a little bit of B-roll to drop on top so you can just see the edge of the pool. And then you can also see uh, the future development, which we think is gonna come online next. So back here behind me across the road, those are all those neighborhoods that we just drove the golf cart through over there there and uh, just going to kind of point out this illustration you see this postal facility right now imagine if this was your lanai so you see all this afternoon shade that you have right here and that direction over there is due north over there behind tiffany back there that is due west so let's walk down and you'll see look at all this awesome awesome shade that you have right now <laughs> but when we get over here and turn the corner you'll see it's nothing but full sun, right? Right. Ta-da. So let's walk back here and we'll show them some of these other uh, empty lots. So yeah, if you had a Western facing lanai, you'd have all this full sun just pouring right in on you. And so I guess it makes this direction over here due south, right? Due south, yeah. Lots of sun here too. Yep. <laughs> So a northeastern facing lanai is your best friend for shade. <laughs> so off in the distance over there, you do see the future east port. We've been doing a lot of videos from the other side when we're over in Shady Brook and all those areas. Mm -hmm. This is our first time to really get out of the golf cart and film uh, east port from this direction. So as we pan around this way, this will all be the future village of Well Point. None of these uh, lots are for sale right now. They don't have any uh, spec homes built right now, but we did see on the village's map, it does look like they're gonna start opening up some of these very, very soon. So I think this is gonna be one of the hottest, no pun intended, neighborhoods <laughs> of the entire villages. I think, and this is, we're seriously considering this area. So, as I'm sure a lot of people are, so there'll probably be a lot of people in the lottery. <laughs> for these homes, but great location um, to the current villages yep. <laughs> and to all of the new things and over to Sawgrass. So really, really great location um, right here. So we'll see, maybe one of those. So we step back on this side of the postal facility to enjoy this awesome, awesome shade. Get a little too hot over there. We were starting to glisten just a little bit, right? Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully this is a better illustration of why we do not want a western facing lanai. So directly behind us is our golf cart. A lot of you have reached out in the comments below and wanted to know uh, what do we think about our golf cart after owning it for several months? Do we still like or do we still love our golf cart? The short answer is yes, we absolutely love our golf cart we just recently went over a thousand miles wow. so uh, yeah hard to believe we actually drive that thing around more than we do our car here That's in the villages right. yeah um so stay tuned we will be doing a, a follow-up review a thousand mile plus review let you know what we like what we love there's still a few minor things that we we don't like about it uh, but a couple of things that we really do love about it of course are the seat belts we love that it's electric yes and that it's so quiet yeah not only is it quiet for us but a lot of you have let us know the comments below that you really appreciate how quiet this golf cart is when we're out there doing these vlogs. So yes, we absolutely, absolutely love it. And again, just a few minor things that hopefully evolution will fix going forward. And uh, one of those things that was kind of a nuisance was what? Well, the way the cup holders are, are set in yep. the dash, the electrical is right below it, or the wires. Yep. There's wires and things below it. So if your drink is condensing, condensating, <laughs> dripping there you go you know it might get on those wires so dave and christy were sweet and they sent us a solution um and so these are car coasters That's i awesome. think they're called but they're golf car coasters for us uh, with michael and tiffany on them so thank you so much dave and christy um but they're kind of like that foamy material yep. and they absorb a lot of the moisture um and so hopefully it won't drip on any of the wires yeah and they sent us enough for all of our cup holders so thank yes. you thank you that was awesome <laughs> awesome of you and uh they've come in really really Very handy, handy yeah. yes <laughs> 
So again, uh, thank you so much for uh, joining us on today's adventure. If this is your first time to our channel, hey, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Smash the thumbs up. Everybody, if you've watched the video at this point, smash the thumbs up and uh, drop us an awesome, awesome comment below. Uh, let us know, do you like this Sunday series? This is only the second time we've done this. We're thinking about turning this into a regular series whenever we're home and we have kind of nice weather, right? Right, right. So again, thanks so much for uh, being part of this awesome, awesome journey. We hope you have an awesome rest of your week and we will see you in the next video.